But um, so what do y'all's? Uh, how do you rate your live performance compared to recorded? Blown oh, it away, it, or the, about the same, or? Oh no, it is it is a hell of a lot faster. It is a hell of a lot faster. It's it's pretty insane, and that's from my point of view. And I'm on the stage. It's it's crazy. Uh, the tempo is a hell of a lot faster. It's definitely more intense. There's a hell of a lot more sweat. I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, we do a load of different things, a couple of different things live, different dynamics, and tiny little changes that you can notice that we throw in deliberately to make it more interesting. Because if you listen to the album 101 times, you go see a band and they play it, you know, note for note, bang on, you think, okay, right, well done. But if there's little changes in there you don't expect and little pieces thrown in, it makes it more interesting to watch and listen to as well. You know, we run around and headbang like lunatics. And to, you know, when you're trying to play these technical riffs at the speed of light and windmill and headbang, it's hard going. So you get what I can guarantee you get one hell of a show from us. We definitely put 200% into our live shows. Nice. Do you guys, uh, you have any favorite covers that you play? You know, actually, we we don't do covers. We've never really done covers before. But we've got a hell of a big set coming up at Hammerfest uh, next Friday, I believe, the 12th of March. And we're going to be doing Testament into the pit. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a hell of a good crowd pleaser. It's one of my favorites, so we're definitely looking forward to doing that one live. Hell yeah, man. Um, you do a lot of ad-libbing? Do y'all do y'all freeform a lot, or are you pretty set to the song? No, we're pretty damn set. Um, with our own stuff, like I said, we throw in a few changes, just little dynamics here and there to keep it interesting, you know, keep people on their toes a bit and throw in tiny little bits. Um, but Into the Pit, I can guarantee one thing, the drums are going to be insane. Ooh. James is absolutely crazy behind his kit, and uh, he's going to blow people away. I've changed a little bit of the guitar solo. I've changed a few of the runs. I've put a few different sweeps and things in there, which are going to be quite interesting live. But uh, it's going to be a good one. Like I said, we haven't done this one live before, so we're really looking forward to it. Right on. So you're doing, um, you're doing all of your current album on stage, and then you're throwing in some of the stuff you're working on now. No, actually, no, we're not going to throw in any new pieces. Oh, nothing yet, huh? Yeah, we're going to keep them secret. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, now, you need <laughs> you need to keep me in mind when you want to do an exclusive. We'll do an exclusive that will only be played here on Metalhead. If I could shake right now, we'd shake on it. Okay. <laughs> well, you run it by the rest of the band, and, and we'll jam some of your new stuff whenever you're ready. Absolutely, man. You're going to love it. Oh, man, I'll bet. Who, um, I can tell you what, man. The couple of songs that we've got pretty much nailed so far, they blow Damnation out of the water. And Damnation is an album I am so pleased with. You know, the guys are as well. It's the album we would want to listen to. You know what I mean? It's the one that we... It's like the album we've been waiting for, kind of thing. And what we're working on next is just kicking its ass. It really is. And it's so exciting to be working on it because we know just how how fucking awesome it is. Like I said, we we want to push ourselves as musicians, push our, push the limits of heavy metal, and we are doing that. Gotcha. Well, hey, man, I'm going to queue up one of your songs now. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I kind of changed up what I was doing. I'm going to play the title song off of the album, Damnation. Cool. Um, is there, um, what's what's the story behind some of the songs? Is, is there a big theme behind the songwriting, or? T to be honest, most of them are written from kind of like um, views and, of things around us whether it's news and war a lot of our stuff is war based it's got, you know, we're having our own little dig up politics and war and the propaganda that gets forced down people's throats every day via the media um, but then again some of the songs like Face to Face is a personal song uh, for Rich he's seen friends of his kind of uh, slip away and stuff through drug abuse and how people change through drug abuse so that's a more personal thing. So the songs can be written about anything and everything, whether it's a mood or a personal life experience, or like I said, crap that you see on TV when you get so sick of seeing shit on TV all the time getting forced down people's throats. So it all kind of comes from different aspects of the spectrum, to be honest. But uh, Damnation is very war-based, as you can tell by the video, obviously. Um, so it's got a very large bit of politics and war and, and stuff like that in it. 
Yep, yeah, I'm going to cue that up right now, and uh, we'll be back with Pete here in just a few minutes. You're listening cool. to MetalHeadRadio.com. All right, hey, we are back with Pete from Warpath. And uh, while we were listening to that song, we were talking about uh, real jobs and, and things of that nature. What what do you guys do for real jobs? The band, this is it, man. Y'all are all full-time musicians. Absolutely. That has got to be tough. Going into the band. Yeah, that has got to be tough, because I, I know I've got a regular job, so it's... uh. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, I do communications work, uh, voice and data. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've been in that for about 15 years, so that's pretty yep. much where I'm at. <laughs> oh, no, that's awesome, man. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Um, well, my, myself and Richard teach guitar uh, privately outside of the band, so if we're not playing band work, we're, you know, if we're not playing guitar for us, we're still playing guitar and teaching. Well, there you go. That's That's a perfect job for you guys. That's yeah. not even like work, <laughs> is it? <laughs> you know what sometimes it is when you get a 12 year old kid he just wants to beat the hell out of I don't know a Green Day song or something it's like ah oh. you know I, that's where we that's where we like to stick the album on and get them steered in the right direction so now do you teach just like rock or do you teach a classical to these kids you know it's kind of whatever they want to learn Oh, that's not bad. Some, I mean, the other, the other week I was teaching Slipknot. Last week I was teaching Europe, the final countdown. So you can see where I'm heading. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a real mess. Well, that's okay. It just keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yes, let me see. Uh, what was I looking for? Who? Um, this, this is the full-time band. Now, do you have a manager that handles things, or you guys handle like all of the daily business activities? <laughs> You're talking to him. <laughs> no, we, do, we manage ourselves. Everybody right. has a hand well, in it, or people take certain sorry. aspects? Say again, sorry. Um, do you like handle just one certain thing, or pretty much all of it? We pretty much handle it all ourselves. Uh, we do kind of divide it up between all of us, but we take all the responsibility and just do everything together as a band. And just, like I said, everything we do is self-promoted, self-financed. We manage and push ourselves. 